September the uh, 14th. Good morning, y'all. I want to uh, share with you this morning before I head out. I leave in about another 50 minutes. That's the time the gate will open. 7 a.m. Um, I wanted to share with you guys because this is very important, okay? When I had a dream, I'm going to say it's been over about a year maybe, um, where I've seen everybody going in the same direction, okay? They all started throwing rocks at me, and I swung over to the left where there was about four of us, five of us all together, not very many. A couple of us, that was it. And uh, I didn't even look at them, I just knew that there was a few people there with me, not many. And I was more focused on all those people throwing rocks at us, you know. And I mean, because there were so many of them, it was like devastating to see so many. And then as soon as they went around that corner, I see them all being lifted like on a conveyor belt. You know, like they had hooks underneath their arms. And their arms are just hanging, dangling like they were dead. Okay. And so the best way that I can describe it is they were dangling like somebody cut the strings on a puppet, okay? In other words, most of these people that you're going to see today are are under the influence of these demonic spirits that are in the world today, okay? That includes in the White House, all those people, the uh, news media, they're all like puppets because what's happening is these demonic spirits are hosting them. That's how they got so much power and control with what's going on in the world today. Now, the Lord revealed to me to see these things, okay, what they look like when they get in a person. And the reason why he revealed it to me so I could reveal it to you. He literally let me see and understand exactly what's happening. Just like that, when you see that tongue spit out, you wouldn't have even seen the tongue get spit out. That's how fast it is. The only reason why you could see it is because I paused it on a uh, camera and got this. <clears throat> you would not have seen this. You would not have even seen the eyes change like that. That's how fast they are. You would have just seen the face twitch a little bit. But these things are literally hosting people all over our country right now, okay? What this is about, it's about souls, okay? They're taking a lot of people to hell. And that's why I'm telling you right now, they're going to try to get your eyes on them, okay? On uh, people in television, the news, they're going to report weird, horrible stuff, whatever. You know, focus on Jesus Christ, okay? This is where you need to be focused on. And, and please, I, I'm asking you guys to trust me on this. Um. <clears throat> The Lord put that angel above my head blowing that trumpet. With that sign where you could see at the end of the trumpet, the white horse with the clock, okay? And then this bathtub which represents the blood of Christ, okay? Now, for the blood of Christ to be on you, you need to be focused on him. Not on the distractions that the devil's going to be doing here. He's going to be showing you so many distractions if you pay attention to him. And they're going to want you to read and focus on all these Illuminati deceptions and what they might do or what they're going to do. Don't even pay attention to him. Stay focused 100% on Jesus Christ, man. We're getting ready to be leaving. That's why it says, Blessed are those who make it to the end of the 1,335 days. Because many people are going to be deceived. Okay, that's why, haven't you wondered why it says those that will be blessed to make it at the end of the 1,335 days? Huh? Why the Lord would say something like that? And it's only a few days away. Haven't you wondered that? Why would they say blessed are those who make it? Now, don't you think there's going to be some very big high distractions coming at you? And these next few days there will be and the devil's a liar and a great deceiver you can be sure he's going to be at work here that's why I'm telling you to focus on Jesus Christ 
Man, I'm afraid to look and watch anything. People sending me videos, man, I'm not watching them. I'm going to tell you, I'm not watching them. I'm all about focusing on Jesus Christ right now. You know, if people are talking about all about Jesus Christ, I'll watch it. But when I'm hearing weird stuff, listen, man, I know most of these people out there, they've all got demonic spirits in them right now hosting them. That's on your news everywhere around the world. That's why they're not telling you about the earthquakes happening everywhere. They're not reporting this stuff. Like this morning, this is the past 15 hours. We've had, I think, 42 earthquakes already in just the past 15 hours. Okay? They're happening on, on a high scale here. What's going to come to America is going to be worse than all of them combined. That's why you're not seeing no big ones. California, man, <laughs> those people are getting them constantly all day, all day, lots of them. I'm, I'm amazed at how people are still sitting there not even knowing what's getting ready to happen there. Yeah, but it is what it is. Everybody's got their destiny and they're going to have it just like what's coming. They're not going to, you know. Like I said, man, today... Everybody is acting like puppets. Okay? Everybody's acting like puppets right now. You need to be focused on Jesus Christ, okay? Many people are not going to make it, man. What's getting ready to happen? Most people are not going to make it. Be ready, okay? Be ready. That's my message right there, man. You know, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like there's going to be a lot of, uh, lot of deception, man, where people are going to be looking for, uh, they're going to be distracted by what's, they're going to, they're going to set all kinds of stuff up to try to get your eyes focused on it. You know, when I stop in and I have breakfast someplace, that's all you hear is the news, the TVs are everywhere. They're everywhere. I don't care where you go. You go to the, get your hair cut, there's TVs everywhere. You go anywhere, there's TVs everywhere, man. They got televisions and everything, man. That's the way the devil is. He wants you watching. He wants you watching what's going on in this world. He doesn't want you watching on our Lord Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? Stay focused, okay? The Pope, he's the eighth eighth uh, king over there. He's he's a puppet. Obama, he's a puppet. See, when I see all this stuff going on, I don't look at it like that individual person. I look at them as puppets. You know, because that's what they are. They're puppets. They don't have control over their bodies no more, man. They're they're puppets only. You guys need to know know it for what it is. Call it what it is. They're puppets. You know, a lot of these people coming against us on these channels that are speaking, just always speaking against us, nothing but negative stuff, evil, wicked stuff. They're puppets. These are demonic spirits. That's why I don't hate them. I don't have any hatred towards them. You know, you got a lot of people leading you back into the world. They claim to be from Christ and all that, but they're fo always focused on what's going on in the world. They're puppets. That's what they are. See, it said in the Bible, in the end times, the saints would be worn out. Why do you think it says, uh, blessed are those who make it to the end of the 1,335 days? Stop and think about it, man. Okay? You know, when he says blessed, it doesn't sound to me like it's going to be something very easy. Sounds like there's a lot of distraction. Something's going to be happening along that path. Because he said, blessed are those that make it to the end of the 1,335 days. Uh, ask yourself this: uh, These people are they? Are they? Do they look like they're wore out? Do they talk about having demonic spirits attacking them while they're sleeping? You know, are they? 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 You know, if they're not mentioning these things, I sure would be wondering about it, because the Bible says that the saints will be wore out, and they're sitting there saying, "I'm happy every day." You know, I'd be worried about it. I'd be wondering who am I watching here. Somebody that just doesn't seem to have any problems ever. Because I'm going to tell you something. The Bible says the saints would be wore out. 
Didn't say that they're going to be happy every day. He said they would be wore out. Okay? And I'm going to tell you something. I've had nothing but a demonic spiritual attacks, man, since the Pope showed up last in 2015. You know, just back to back. <clears throat> I know how many dreams I've had on dreams, on visions from the Lord. I know I, I can, I can re-elect re every one of them. But I can also tell you, every night I've been getting attacked by these demonic spirits. Always. Always. You know? That's why I've been sharing with people how a lot of them have been sexual attacks. Some of them have been fighting against demonic spirits. I've had some where I was fighting against, like, crocodiles in the middle of the river. And why do you think I share these things on YouTube? I share them because I'm letting people know that are out there having these same attacks. And I'm going to tell you, I've heard a lot of people sharing with me how they've had them. Okay, and then I see a lot of people on YouTube, man. They don't seem to have any of these problems. Ain't nothing bothering them. They're sleeping fine and things are just right on with them, man. No problems, you know what I mean? That makes me wonder about them. You know, who are these people? How is it they seem to be getting spared all this when the Bible says the saints will be wore out? Devil is attacking those that are, you know, I mean, when I sat there and said the devil uh, came against my business and everything, man, he, they shut my doors, man. They put me out of business. Literally put me out of business. But you know what? You don't see too many people with the photo like this, neither do you. You don't see too many, but I guarantee you the devil knows who this is. Devil has no illusions about it whatsoever. I guarantee you he don't. See, they just try to trick me, deceive me a little. When they said, if you just speak a little less about Jesus, we'll turn your life around. And I said, that ain't going to happen. Not even a little. You see what I'm saying? That's how tricky the devil is. He'll make it sound like it's just a little. You can still do what you're doing. Just do it a little less. And see, once you make a bargain with the devil, this is what you get. They can jump in you and host you like you're a wet suit, man. And you're going to go, what happened? What happened? How did that happen? Then you're going to realize, oh, that's right. I made a bargain with the devil, didn't I? You see what I'm saying? Don't be deceived, man. We're right here. That's why it says, blessed are those who make it. To the end of the 1,335 days. Blessed are those who make it to the end of the 1,335 days. And he said the saints would be wore out. You guys got to remember it says in the Bible, test all spirits. Now, if it says it in there, you better start doing it. Because I'm telling you, the devil's going to come in all kinds of ways and they're going to try to deceive you. When I say the devil, these are like puppets, people. They're people. You're, not, you're, not, you're going to think they might be your Catholic teacher, your priest, or who knows who they are, you know? He, he can host anybody. Come up to you in a way that you're going to feel very confident about this person in front of you. You know? Test all spirits. That's what he says. Test them. Test them. You'll know them by, by what they're asking you. By the grace of God, they put that in me to where I could see it, and I recognized it. Oh, boy. Man, the deception is, like, really, really high. You got to be careful, man. This is our eternal soul we're talking about here. You know, don't be deceived now. Don't let anybody deceive you. Okay? I mean, this is a very, very important time now. We're very close I believe we're very close. Remember what I'm saying, man. They're going to be trying to get you to watch this, watch that. They've been trying to get me to do it. And I know if they've done it to me, they're going to be, they're probably doing it to all you guys too. That's why I've always shared everything, my experience all along the way, the attacks, everything. Because, you know, if, I, if you don't share these things with them, and a lot of them are embarrassing even, you know, because they're sexual attacks and stuff like that. You know, so therefore I have to share them and I have to be honest with you so that way you know exactly what's happening to you is the same thing that was happening to me. Okay? And then Jesus says we have to overcome. Okay? 
We have to overcome these things. And I'm going to tell you right now, the attacks, I don't, they're nothing like they used to be anymore. And I've had a couple of attacks with demonic spirits um, a while back where they just said, you don't even belong here. You know, you got to go. Like, I don't belong here. You know, because I'm not easy, you know, for them to challenge me because, you know, they don't want to fight against me like that no more because they know I'm not easy. You know, that's why they say, you don't belong here. You got to go. They know who they got and who they don't have. That's why I'm telling you guys, fight them. You know, yeah, you're getting spiritual attacks, but let me tell you something. The Lord doesn't give you anything that you can't beat and you can defeat them because we have the blood of Christ on us. That's what you got to remember, man, by the blood of Christ, okay? And that's all you need. And don't let these people deceive you, pull you back into the world, because that's what they're going to try to do. I guarantee you that's exactly what they're going to try to do, pull you back into the world. And remember, you're dealing with puppets, okay? People that are now have these spirits in them, you know? These are well-known broadcasters, man, on television, man. People you think, you know, that are, you know, really honest, down-to-earth, good uh, broadcasters. They lost their soul, man. Because they, that opportunity came up to them, too, where they lost their soul. You know, they took the devil's a liar and a deceiver, man. They're going to try to trick you some kind of way. I don't know how they're going to do everybody. Everybody's probably going to be a little bit different, but... Always test all spirits, what they're asking you. That's why I said, are you going in the same direction as other people? Stop it. You know, let it go. Don't do it no more. Okay? Because this is important, man. We're right here at the door. Stay focused on Jesus Christ, not on, uh, not on what's going on in this world, man. This place is over, man. I mean, it's totally over. God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray that you guys got something out of this message. And uh, I'm getting ready to head down the road. It is 624, so I got another half an hour here. You know, got to wait. Wish I had my coffee pot out. I'd make me a warm cup of coffee. You know, I can't even stop by the store and get me a cup of coffee. But uh, anyhow, God bless you guys. And uh, man, stay safe, man. Don't be deceived, okay? Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. God bless you.